Ah, hey, welcome. How did you, I don't know how you got in my living room, but you're here, so I might as well talk to you about this. Now, if somebody broke into your house and they, they injured you or, heaven forbid, they, they injured your children or worse, would that be on you? I'd offer you some coffee, but, uh, well, you're only virtually here, so I can't really do that. You, know, you look kind of strange, to be honest. You've, like, got uh, one big eye that kind of, like, sticks out in a fuzzy, like, thing on the top of your head. But I'm, I'm going to ignore all of that, that strangeness and continue to talk about this. Yeah, it turns out there, there's a, a situation that unfolded where an illegal immigrant uh, murdered someone. Murdered a lady, and... The mayor in this place, a Democrat mayor, although I don't know that it, it's necessary to say that, uh, that sort of moniker thing there, the Democrat or Republican, in either case, the leader, the person that uh, the people who live in this place look to for leadership said that that's on us. That's on, uh, you know, the Trump supporters and Donald Trump because they said that, uh, I guess they said a lot of vile things about illegal immigrants. And so that takes all of the blame off of this, uh, this person who illegally entered the country and then killed someone and puts it squarely on you oh, and, and me as well. You know, I'm sure that I'm included in that, uh, that as well. But uh, somehow that's, uh, that's really the problem here. It's because you said something. You had a problem with these people coming across the border. You said that some of them might be killers, that they might be bad people. Well, that agitated them, and uh, so it's no surprise that they attacked, you know? You should have just kept your head down and not said anything, because then you don't agitate them and they leave you alone, hopefully. I, I, nah, th th this is ridiculous. We know this is ridiculous. Absolutely beyond <laughs> ridiculous. I guess that, but that's what they want you to do. They want you to just keep your head down and shut up and not say anything when you see something going wrong. Now, their justification is, and this is su somehow supposed to take the blame away from that, or, you know, like, it's not because the border's wide open. It's, uh, yeah, to take away the, the whole notion of that, that there's dangerous people potentially coming across the border that ha has been uncontrolled, and never mind that, just shut up and don't agitate these people. They might attack. They might do something, you know, if they happen to be bad guys, which uh, now we know that, you know, some of them are, you know, out of the, the millions of people who came across the border, I guess there's some bad guys. Um, are you as surprised as me? I thought that this was like the, the salt of the, or this is the salt of the earth that, you know, the best. They just want to come over here to escape whatever hardship it is. And none of them are, you know, these are great people. And I'm sure that a lot of them are, and you know, but uh, I guess you know, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised some bad guys got across too. I mean, I would never have thought that just leaving the border wide open would be, you know, like an invitation for people to come in and do bad things. Like what we saw in New York when those guys attacked the cops and then came out to give like, the peace symbol to the, the news reporters. It's like, wow, you know, we live in a great country that uh, cares about its own people so much. Uh, never mind that. Yeah, you're just supposed to cower and do nothing. This is going to be a little bit of a short video today because, uh, well, I have to go and get my son. But I, I couldn't leave it alone. I just couldn't. It's just so ridiculous that uh, somebody would say this. I, I just had to say something about it. I mean... That, that is never the way that it's supposed to be. That's how things like the Holocaust happen. If you just keep your head down and shut up when the bad people start doing stuff, well, guess what? Bad things are going to happen. Um, and they're going to be emboldened like, oh, yeah, you know, I can get away with this. Well, what else can I get away with? Now, nobody's going to do anything to me. Yeah, it just encourages criminals. Being quiet and ignoring their activities, it, it doesn't help. Ignoring their tendencies, yeah, it just encourages it because, you know... They're criminals. <laughs> now, I, I don't know any of the people coming across the border. And I guess that's the real problem. We don't know who they are. We have no idea who has come across the border in the millions. Anybody could have been. An entire army. Several armies could have been in that group. And we wouldn't even know about it until it was too late. I mean, 
it's too late for this uh, this person that got murdered. It's going to be too late in every single case because we don't know who they are, or where they are, or what they're doing. Um, the, the, the horror stories about human trafficking alone should be enough to wake people up and say, hey, you know, we need to stop this because people are getting hurt. And we're complicit in that. You know, the, the other day they had the guy that set himself on fire because of what's happening in you know, over there with Israel and all of that. Where is the outrage about this? There are children being sold into unspeakable things. And, you know, this is happening right now on our southern border. And nobody's nobody's uh, really, I mean, there are some people that are talking about it. But if you're going to set yourself on fire, I think that these kids probably, well, you know what, don't, don't, never mind that. Don't, don't go setting your, no self-immolation, none of that stuff. We just need to do something about this. Um, I, I think that people are probably going to vote in uh, November to do something about this. But I hope that there could be some outrage about this. And definitely don't just keep your head down and shut up and let things happen because it'll just get worse. It'll just get worse. This mayor, you know, it, it's such a terrible thing. It, it's literally like uh, if somebody did break into your house and hurt you or hurt someone in your family, you call the police and they come to your house and tell you like, well, you know what? You should have just given them what they wanted. What were you thinking? You know, what did you put up a fight for when they were trying to kill your kids? That's what agitated him. Jeez, you know, gosh, why don't we just uh, not, you know, just welcome them in your house and give them whatever they want, I guess. Oh, man. Yeah, it, yeah we live in the stupidest of times, I'm afraid. And people wonder why I don't want to live in America anymore. Ah, this would never happen. Well, okay, in the Western world, I'll say this happens all the time. If you're in Europe, um, yeah, this has happened to you. Um, I don't know if you have woken up entirely to it, but yeah, it's happening right now. It's happening here in America. And, you know, definitely don't just shut up. If you see something wrong, say something about it. Hey, you know, we have laws that we have put together over the course of thousands of years. And they're there for a reason. We're supposed to follow them so that we can have a functioning society. I suspect somebody just doesn't want our society to be functional for whatever reason. I don't know what their purposes are. Some people would say that they're alien lizard men. Some people would say that they uh, don't take me too seriously here. But <laughs> I don't know. Is it the Illuminati? Is it some kind of communist revolution? I don't know. There are communists in the government right now. But uh, whatever it is. The, our society is falling apart. It can't continue this way. Don't keep your head down. Don't stay quiet. I mean, I'm, well, okay. In some situations, keep your head down. Like if somebody's trying to get you, you know. But uh, that doesn't mean give up and just let them do whatever they want. Resist. Resist the chaos. Resist the evil. But uh, keep your mind about you. Because some of it is, uh, even on that side of things... Uh, never mind. I'm not going to confuse you guys with that. I better quit this. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>